Hey guys, welcome back to another campaign achievement. Today we're going to be playing the Field of Blood, and the achievement is going to be to win the mission without building any extra walls or gates. When the old man had begun his story, the hut had been flooded by sunlight. The golden disk had long since sunk below the horizon, and the light of the embers dancing around in the darkness only faintly illuminated his wrinkled face. He refilled his clay mug, and then continued the story. Biracoca believed that his reign was sacred and that he was protected by divine providence. However, the gods had turned away from him towards a new favorite, a wild young warlord named Ankuhualak. He hailed from the Chanka tribes and had recruited more than 40,000 warriors, with whom he marched on Cusco. The inhabitants were sure that their beloved ruler would remain strong and drive out the invaders. Sadly, Viracoca had grown old and fear had infected his heart. Together with Urku, his favorite son, he fled, abandoning his people to their fate. Not all of Viracoca's sons were as cowardly as their father. Gusi Yupankui refused to follow his aged father and instead took command of the defense. Full of confidence, he announced that he would defeat the Chanka army. However, the few soldiers remaining in the city could not be impressed by bold words, as Kusi Yupankwi had no military experience to justify his claim. Luckily, Mikakirao and Apomaita had also remained in Cusco. Uncle Wallach's warrior. Okay, so our objective is to defeat this army that is marching on Crisco, and well, that's not going to be our main objective. That's going to change soon. We have a population of 150. We can't attack our enemies. There's, uh, we're not going to be securing the rivers with walls and gates because we're challenged not to. We can't build the docks, and our allies will sling us if we keep them alive. So we're, our army, Cyan, the best color, has assembled in the west to face the Chanka forces. Crisco. The capital is located to the northeast, the city is not very fortified yet, and therefore could easily be taken by the Chanka. An enemy commando operation has already succeeded in destroying the Temple of the Sun, the town's landmark. The Chanka have built a circumvallation around Cusco, and will soon attempt to take the city by assault. The ar Their army consists of archers, slingers, eagle warriors, swordsmen, and skirmishers. It is very likely that they will make use of siege weapons such as rams and mangonels. The elite of the Chanka warriors, Purple, is led by Anku Hualik himself, whose main camp is in the south. Uh, they'll send Kamuyuk slingers and onagers and capped rams, and it might be that he will also decree the deployment of trebuchets. And these two tribes are supporting us. They will sling us but they will die quickly. Okay, so we start out with this battle that we're gonna lose. As we'll just try to fight as best we can. Keep the eagles away from jaguar warriors if we can. But they just have units that spawn out of nowhere in the back. We're not gonna be able to win this. Yeah. I wonder how... looks like Kamuyuks actually wreck Jaguar Warriors, even. Uh, we might lose, but we can at least get a positive KD. I get some good Manganel shots in on these archers. The Chanka are too strong. We cannot stop them. The battle is lost. Jaku, soon. The Chanka will reach Cusco. We must abandon the city and escape to the mountain. Gorilla. Jaku. Gorilla. Ari. Jaku. It sickens my Ari. heart to Ari. see my Gorilla. father turning Jay. his back on his own people. But I Act refuse to give in. Ari. Cusco Jay. shall never fall to the Chanka. Jay. Okay, so Ari. that guy who must survive, I'm just going to garrison him in that castle there. And oh, okay, we have resources now. Let's start. Jaku. Gathering, do our upgrades. We start the castle age, but we don't even have any feudal age upgrades. Because we advanced via a trigger. <laughs> Just get everything going with these TCs. This town center is in the middle of nowhere. 
so it won't be too useful. Okay, we can scout down here a bit. Oh look, the bridge is repaired now, magically. There's some gold there. And so I guess our first goal, we'll get a castle on this hill right here to protect this. And also get down a siege workshop behind it. We're going to want a second castle soon. Like over here. So let's actually get on stone for that second castle. And we'll just kind of go... Let's see, we have two ranges there and two ranges there. We actually have a decent army, but I don't think we can get upgrades for it since we got it from our ally. And we definitely are going to need some actual lumberjacks, so we'll go there. I don't think it's worth it to add in another town center. But we will need gold, so we'll start out by taking the safe gold there. I'm really tempted to build a house just to keep them safe. But they're raiding us. Stop that. Fletching would be nice, too. I think we'll go for some crossbow... Manganels. We're gonna need Manganels to take out the rams and keep our castle safe. Alright, let's get the crossbows and the sluggers. In a group. And I don't know if it's possible to keep our allies alive, but why not? Why not give it a try? You guys can just help our production. They'll, get, they'll make their way down there eventually. Yeah, there you go. You guys go back onto that wood now. Keep our villager production going. We're definitely going to need more farms soon. At least we don't need to worry about building houses at all. Just fully scout this area, find all of the gold we can. That'll be a good one to take later. We'll, we'll want to think about wheelbarrows soon. Only have one dead vill there. I guess we should chop this wood. Don't just let it all go to waste. And fletching... And botkin will be really important. Get another mangonel. Up oh, here come... Here they come to attack Orange, whom I don't think we can actually save. Let's get Fletching. It'd be nice if we could save them and keep getting slung, but I don't know if this is possible. We'll try to micro our crossbows. At least they're slinging us our re <laughs> their resources before they resign. Let's keep villages going. Okay. Well, if they're attacking us, then they're not. Attacking orange. Oh, hello. That is my base. Let's use the mangonels there. There's no, they don't have any melee units, we might as well. Okay, we have tons of wood. Let's. We need more farms. Okay, they're coming from down there. And, uh, okay, Orange is very not alive. At least that's a safe place for farms. And we do need Botkin as soon as we can. Okay, now Manganels get ready to take out Rams. I guess Eagles can help take out Rams too. And just kind of focus the crossbows on the Eagles while we can. Keep adding in more farms. Those villagers are still safe. Oh, keep the Manganels safe from longswords. I want to repair, but it's not going to get away in time. Repair that one. Okay, Orange still has not resigned, which is good, I guess. Repair that mangonel. Let's keep 
uh, I would like wheelbarrow from one of these TCs. We'll do wheelbarrow there. And I do need that wood upgrade. And just want to keep the castle alive, get another castle up as soon as we can. Keep the Manganels behind the castle. And can't afford that, can't afford the wood upgrade. Uh, kill the eagle, and Manganels kill the rams. Perfect. And there we go. Just get you guys out of there so we can see my new crossbows. Okay, castle still lots of HP. How much does a castle cost for anchors? Still can't quite do it. Uh, we have lots of wood that needs to be turned into farms. Oh, crap. Um, hopefully that TC will survive. And this is where we actually need to worry about defending. Murder holes actually would be really important for keeping the castle alive. Hey, keep that Manganel alive. Repair that one. Nope, don't move. Attack. There we go. You guys, you guys come over here and try to protect that TC. Okay, we might need to get up a castle on that hill. I kind of want it in front of the Wonder, but we need to protect our gold. So that hill for now. Yep, those are our ally. Oh, orange is orange is still alive and making units. Yes, go orange. They're bringing a mangonel over there. Uh, let's go try to save orange again. And do we have? We can it thumb ring. Oh, they're rebuilding the town center. Go, Orange, go. And uh, 36 food. <laughs> strong, strong sling. Okay, I can't see that unit behind the archery range tower, I guess. Okay, now, now we have to micro against this Manganel now. Okay, good, it's not firing at us. Okay. Messed up there. Scares it in the castle to heal. Okay. Villagers attack that ram, and now we're safe over there again. We need to worry about getting our population up. Should maybe put some houses in front of the castle just to keep it safe from future rams. And oh, don't even have horse collar. That is not good. Or the gold mining upgrade. That's not good either. Okay, we need... Maybe we can just sneak up here, slide in, take this gold. I have four villagers on wood. That needs to increase drastically. Can at least move you up there to the wood. Uh, you guys go take wood since we'll need to rebuild the farms. Uh, we have a good number of crossbows now. Maybe you get one Manganel up by that castle to protect it from rams. Alright, and orange is alive still somehow. Red's alive. And we're doing okay. So I think right now we probably need more TCs. Uh, it's kind of hilly here. Instead of that, let's build a TC there. 
Maybe we'll do handcart. And okay, we do have that. Oh, there you go. Yep, time for our manganel to get some work in. Do more blacksmith upgrades. How are things going over here? Okay, that's still up. Put that minion all there. I don't know if it's worth it even to worry about eagles at this point. I think our crossbows are probably our best castle age unit. Okay, uh, it looks like we have a bit of an economy running now. Now we just worry about finishing getting our population up. Now let's finish off these upgrades for our economy. Okay. Time to defend the castle with the Manganel and try to get another castle up there if we can. You guys can go for the Manganel. And the castle won't even get a scratch there. Hey, you guys did your job. You can get back now. Turn that on. Bring him to safety so he can recover. Alright, that's one of our heroes just going down. Oh well. Yeah, let's try to keep our minion all alive if we can. Have to avoid the temptation to quick gate in front of the rams. Okay, that's up. Oh, okay. Uh, repair the castle. Repair. <laughs> My crossbows are out of position. Hopefully they don't go for the villagers. Keep the mangonels alive. Get some chemi out. Alright, and that manganel will keep the castle alive. Let's also repair the manganel. Maybe I'll keep a couple Kamiyuks just garrison for a situation such as that. There's more rams coming from down there. Oh, that's a lot of rams. I don't even want another siege workshop just so we can increase our manganel production. And what we definitely do need are more rangers here. Uh, what we <laughs> need to take, take care of those crossbows too. Uh, don't don't bother fighting there. Just let the castle deal with it. And we also need a university soon. Okay, castle will deal with the manganels. Uh, ramming our farms. No, thank you. It's a lot of capped rams. Oh, we can also go to the Imperial Age in this scenario. Yeah, let's maybe think about doing that soon. Reclaim that. Uh, go down and take that gold soon. We have lots of food, so let's go and reassign some villagers to that gold. Yum. Uh, ballistics, uh, masonry, and murder holes will all be useful for me. Let's keep the villagers coming out. We still have idols. Okay, this isn't too bad. Just one more castle, and, and hopefully that will be sufficient to hold everything. Oh, we, those villages have been very inefficient for a long time. Get another mining camp there, maybe. And we could also do that gold upgrade. 
Let's worry about that and picking up to Imp soon. Uh, we should have a siege workshop in a university, so we'll be fine to click up. And we'll put it in this TC because it looks probably the safest. And you guys are done with that gold, so we'll need more gold. Maybe come down there? We'll see if it works. And let's maybe move out and try to save Orange again. There's, they're still alive somehow, miraculously. They might, I might need to sling them some food so they start training villagers again, but let's get them saved first. And when we get to Imp, maybe we can start thinking about upgrades for our Eagle Warriors. They have a building foundation, which gives me the hopes that they might have a builder or some type of villager somewhere. Uh, 300 wood? Okay. Oh, yes, they do have a villager. Let's give it a stop micro. Oh, don't kill the villager, no. Oh, purple's there too. Where are my idols? Build two farms with you guys so you're no longer idle. Oh, dang it, they finally resigned. Couldn't keep them alive, but green still... Uh, they're about to die, too. Right. Anything else you want? Maybe treadmill train at the university. Armor for our archers, should have done that a long time ago. Uh, stone mining. Yeah, and then we can get up another castle when that's done. Now we're up to Imp, Arbalest, Bracer, and Chemistry will be next. And when we get the food, we'll do the Yonagar upgrade. Okay, let's wait for our upgrades before we engage the Manganels. See, they have capped rams in the Imperial Age. I'll also be able to build another castle soon. Okay, that was not the micro I wanted. Oop. Well, some new conscription. Uh, another castle, please, right there. Okay. Need to keep my population up that's starting to drop. So I upgrade plus one armor. That'll be useful if I need to start taking two eagles or cameos to kill rams. But I want the Anjir upgrade first. Yep, okay, we gotta defend this side. Let's get a couple of eagles out to kill the rams. And try not to honor our own arbalest. And let's see, the eco upgrades will be nice. Just mess up ram pathfinding with a few houses here and there. Okay, you guys come back. Get that out. Honor is coming in. Keep all of you up over here. Okay, let's get you more efficient maybe up there. Oof, big hit there, big hit. <laughs> okay, now that we're kind of swimming in excess food, 
We can start thinking about upgrading eagles too. Let's keep our Qs going and repair the siege weapons. So how are we doing down there? Oh, okay. We are mining that gold, but it's also kind of running out. Okay, things look like they're going pretty well. Let's repair our siege. We can also go down there. Maybe some more farms would also be a good thing. Get them placed perfectly around there. Maybe some outposts here would also help us just to see what's happening out there. Always useful in Onager versus Onager fights. How are you guys doing? Okay, that's almost there. Uh, maybe we're not gonna. We don't need the wall upgrade. <laughs> Definitely don't need that. Let's do the rest of the eco upgrades. Oh, what's going on? I thought I just saw something. Oh, it's probably that eagle I saw. Okay, the guy who must survive is nice and safe up there. Let's upgrade the castles. Heavy Scorpion might also be a nice thing. The only thing I'm worried about is if they start bringing in trebuchets. Let's do that. Let the castle to deal with all that. And we are also starting to run out of gold, which could be a big problem. Maybe we can assault that camp and kind of slow down some attacks. Uh, yeah, we'll try that. Get a siege workshop there and do the ram upgrade. Sure, we can remove minimum range. Looks like an attack's coming in, but we'll just train some arbalists at home. See if we can mine that stone. Okay, it's oh, are they going for that castle? Let's get some Kamiuks there. They're going there. Let's go protect that castle. And Garrison. Awesome. Oh, oh, fire, fire, fire. You are an honor. You can deal with that. Go, Eagles. Okay, that castle will stay up. And let's see what we can do in this camp. They'll have a tower there. Maybe we can use one treb to take out the tower and buildings here. Or we can just like stand at the base of the tower and attack. And well, if we can take out this camp, maybe they won't have murder holes. They definitely do. Try treb from that side of the river, even. Okay, we'll take out that camp, and then we'll try to take out this camp. And that wonder, almost, it's almost up. Uh, elite Kamiuk, I think I want to worry about eagles first. And we get a couple of barracks just in case we need to spam some eagles to protect, uh, or to snipe trebs later. The uh, trebs finally there a bit late, but oh well. Yeah, you're not gonna get out ever. Just move you forward so you can hit everything in here. And while you guys just start cleaning up the pavilions. If they don't have villagers, we can kill these things and ruin their pop space. I like how it says we've completed the objective of protecting them now that they have been defeated. 
There's this weird section of... Oh, Trebs. Let's kill the Trebs. And we'll get some eagles out to do that. Okay, let's bring these archers back now. That Treb can just finish off everything there. Okay, we don't need everything to go forward, but just a few... There we go. Kill the Treb. The sun has been rebuilt. Now... We must defend it until the Chanka withdraw. Oh, there's gold there. We're going for that gold. Okay, well, that Treb has been dealt with. Oh, you're attacking my outpost. Oh, my outpost there was destroyed. Let's re rebuild it. And gr green is still. They've rebuilt their TC and they're kind of thriving. Let's go over here and we'll do the same thing we did on that side of the map, but on this side of the map. And we can do some upgrades to our Kamiuks just in case we need them. And you're only a Manganel, don't really need to worry about you too much. We do outrange you by quite a bit. Oh. <laughs> Take a bit of a hit there. Oh, now you're an honor. Now we have to worry about you. Oh, this big army from red. I wasn't expecting from that direction. They must have another camp somewhere. At least now we're at the point where if their wonder goes down, we can repair it for them. Or not if it goes down, if it starts getting hurt. Okay, the honor goes in position to kill the rams. Take the hill. Okay, and we need to kill that Treb. And the castle will defend the siege weapons there. That's a lot of Jaguar warriors. And now they have siege rams. So let's get a few... Oh, hello, coming from that direction too. I see ya. Okay, now we just need a bit of micro so that we target the infantry and not the siege rams. Jaguar where your cameo mix. Interesting. Oh no, don't ram all the onagers at once. That is that pathfinding? Okay, now actually be useful. Oh, that could have been a big hit there. Okay, uh, you guys will start getting ready for your secret mission to attack that base. And now we're running out of gold, but we can sell everything and do guilds. Look, oh, we're being attacked there. Let's add in a few more barracks. Okay, now we need to use the Sonagur to protect against the siege rams, and we need to make sure these do not die to the Sonagur fire. And some eagles out there to snipe will be good. There we go. Protect the castle. Sure. Let's go repair the castle. Oh, that was not good. Okay. Now they're real. Oh, that's a lot of trebs. Okay, okay, that's a lot of trebs. 
Need some good anger shots there. Good anger shots there. Fire, fire. Okay, didn't really get good ones there. Okay, we lost all of the arbs. We lost the castle. Okay, now we definitely need more production facilities. And more army. And more siege weapons. Perhaps more than anything. More eagles for sniping siege, too. Castle needs to focus on the onagers, while the onagers need to focus on the rams. Now oh, they're mixing in some skirms, we can definitely add in eagles. We should do armor on our eagles, though. I uh, don't know if we actually have the ability to take out this base anymore. I'm just going to bring the tread back and focus on defending. We have 100 years left, and I think we got this. My only worry is that we probably are not going to have gold income anymore. Okay, let's go over there. Uh, that'll be taken out. Check out the rams, please. I need to keep my population and production up. And that's the part where I kind of... I don't want to go into trash units, I just want to sell... I'll even sell the stone. That'll be helpful. Okay, we'll trade onagers there. Okay, that treb there will be a pain to deal with. It's all about keeping this castle alive now. Adding in halbs to snipe the siege might be a decent idea. That's a lot of trebs. Okay, go. Okay, I'm not going to be able to keep that up. Hey, uh, 50 years? We, we still got this. And let's just add in a ton of eagles now. Oh, don't lose all the siege to one ram. <laughs> don't kill our own arms either. Oh, nope, not men at arms. Uh, I can't cancel them. Eagle warriors. That's a lot of rams. Oh, crap, there's an onager there. Okay, um, now we need to. Houses, houses, houses. Okay, so they definitely turned up their pressure. And now we're actually running out of resources, but we only have 27 years, and as long as they... They'll probably have maybe one more big round of rams coming in. As long as we can keep that onager alive. Okay, yeah, one more round of rams, and okay. Here. You need to repair. Okay, good now. Fire at the rams. Take out the rams. Repair. That's going for the siege. 
Okay, good, you need to keep me everything alive. Fire. It's, what is this pathfinding? Fire at the rams. Okay, 13 years. I think we got this. It's getting close there at the end. Unless they have like 10 trebuchets ready to snipe the wonder in one or two hits. Okay, we got this. Let's add in more villagers just in case. I hope there's nothing after this in this scenario. Okay, there's trebs. Snipe trebs, snipe trebs. Okay, sniping trebs with Onigus did not work. Spearmen. Yes! Okay, that was interesting up until the end. And let's check that out. Not even a single hit on that wonder. Completely and utterly safe. Hasley had a bit of a camp down there. I guess taking out this base helped. Uh, we probably wouldn't have been able to assault this base at all with all of those castles. I wonder if this always takes 1 hour, 2 minutes, and 20 seconds. Or if there are different timers. Like, maybe you can lose this battle more quickly at the start. And then I suppose if you do have a way of defeating these infinite resource enemies, then you could win more quickly. But anyway, let's check out the ending. I was captivated by the words of the old man. When he had finished, I exclaimed, So that is why this area is called Yawarpampa, the field of blood. His eyes sparkled. Yes, the ground on which my hut stands today was watered by the blood of the Chanka. Kusu Yupanqui, with the help of his generals, had accomplished the impossible. Cusco had been saved from an overwhelmingly superior force. The name of Kusi Yupanqui soon fell into oblivion, but only because the people that he had saved from the Chanka invasion began to call their savior Pachacuti Inca Yupanqui, he who overturned space and time. Now, there were also those who wished immediately to rid themselves of the victorious hero. His own family, driven by jealousy, began to conspire against him. Okay, well, look at that military score. Had, had a pretty good KD there. As they just tried to spam... And spam units into our castles. Anyway, GG. Thank you all very much for watching. And I'll see you next time.